Okay. All right. So the first time when you went to him and you didn't think he looked the way he did, has he already sparred Andrew Murphy? You know, when you say... Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, Andrew, but he didn't spar Andrew Murphy. Andrew moved around when he had to do a jab at him. I got you. But he didn't spar Andrew Murphy. They moved around. Andrew didn't spar. I don't know. They just moved around. He fought with Jangra and Vic. I'm not going to really fought all out with Vic. I'm not going to really go around with Vic. Zach present the second time around that that ended his jaw or whatever. Like what did he hit him with? A, a hook? Uh no, he, he laid him right here now and rushed the one two behind, caught him by the ropes with a straight right hand, right by the left. Andrew said you heard something pop when he hit him. I didn't say it, but Andrew said he heard something pop. But I know if you stop it, because he's saying you hit him hurt when he stopped it. And then I told him no, that's good, come up to the jig, y'all. I took his head, y'all, because I know at that point I'm not the middle fight, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, he can still hold that hand. He can come over that hand that he ain't got three fights. Agent Barnard is my full time world champ. If he gets through that hand that hard, I die. I know what Agent can do. So I said, No, that's not what I'm saying. I took the head, y'all. And I moved in a few other things. I said, You all right? He said, No. I said, Okay. Well, come on down. And then I moved in. I started calling Jerry to my chair. I didn't think y'all was going to fight. I didn't know nobody was going to fight. I just thought, Yeah, I caught with a lot of good shots. I caught with a couple the day before. Oh, I didn't like how he reacted to him. And that's why I told him I wanted to see it again. If you can't do no better than that, then you did yesterday. We're not fighting. And he had me because he did a five or six round and he did a five 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 round
knocked down because they went 10, and he ain't go for three all out now, they, they, he went to take. So what is this, well, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure you heard the video, but um, it's out there that he, um, I guess 150 felt that that um, you and your wife, I suppose, was treating him some type of way. He felt a different vibe, a different energy down there in the gym with this, yeah. you know. Yeah, you know what the, 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 the different vibe was? You know what the different vibe was? What was it? Right now. You fight a full time world champion. You're not fighting bombs. You're not fighting guys with three fights or guys who ain't made it yet. You fight a full time world champion. Certain things you do, he not gonna let you get away with. That's what the vibe was. You're fighting the best fighter you ever seen in the ring or cost ring for you in your life. You can't fight him like you fought nobody else your fault. Yeah. So that's what the vibe was. The vibe is, if we gonna go do this, you're gonna do this right. If you go out there with the stuff you're doing right, you know, you're not going to buy an agent like that. That's what the vibe was. The vibe was to me, if you want to be there, you bond, then you got to, I got to get you. I'm going to put my name on it, we got to try to grab it for real. But mm -hmm. the stuff you're doing, that's not going to work. That's what the vibe was. Them going to MSG and him looking the way he did, that you felt some type of way about it, because from my understanding, you told him not to take the fight. Um, once again, he's he been on record as saying that. I did say not to take the fight because I don't like how you, I didn't like how you look at how you take the punch at one point at one point at the time. Okay. I told him then back in he should be forty seven. I don't like how you look at the punch at four. So you shouldn't take that. If they took him down to the eight, what happened to him? He got embarrassed, right? This time I'm in the gym, I'm about to take the punch at four to seven. I don't like how you take the punch at four to seven. Same thing I ain't like what I saw back then. So I said, No, he don't need to fight. He ain't looking good taking the punch at four to seven either now. He didn't look good taking my one quarter, which is why I had told him not to take that fight. This time, you don't look good taking my part of the jump. So what I say again, don't take this fight. Why? Because I'm concerned about the boy's well-being. I don't give a damn with him earthly. Like I said, I'm all fine for him. I'm all fine for him. I'm all fine for him. I didn't get involved for him. Why? He can't be fine. Brian wants to get the full fine. He's fighting for himself. He should get his part, Brian. But he can't. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. One of my old sparring partners, son. Jake Pepe, I'll kill him. He fights 50 and 54. He died out. They didn't need to follow Mike. I said no. And, and you, can add, you, know, Al, you know Big Al? You know Alvin Smith? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Call Big Al and ask me. I told him we had to just come and get Kia come follow Mike. I said no. Why? I'm, I'm protecting him. I'm not going to let him come and beat up on Mike. Like, no. I'm protecting Mike. The father tried to send her son on his brother. He's supposed to be fighting 2015 over the restaurant. He's supposed to be having a tough fight. He wants to come get some good sparring. I said no. Why? Because I can't trust that to be in love with Mike. I don't know how good he is, and I can't take no chance with Mike. I know how good Kia or uh, Pappy on is. I know he, Mike won't be able to kill her. So I'm not with him in there like this. I got to follow a two, 135 pounds. Yeah. That's not protection? I, I got it. That's not protection? Yeah. Two, 135 pounds, if that's three and oh. I'm talking three and oh. They got less fight than is the bird in the world world title. That's not protection? Yeah. It's protection. I hear you. Exactly. That's, that's protection. It can't get no lower weight class than that. I risk my case. And that's if you don't beat me. Like I said, if you don't beat me, you can call you on the fighter. You can call me back to him. I see the number. You can call him and ask them. They'll tell you. Andrew Murphy tell you, he ain't even thought about hurting Mike. He'll tell you that. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna hurt Mike. I gotta put him in my goddamn gym. He yeah. know he's a six day partner. Mike, we're gonna put him in my gym. He know that. He can say, yeah, Mike, they're gonna look with the shoulder and just throw a good time. That's all he was doing. Yeah, that's the that's the the news that was floating around that Andrew Murphy not Andrew Murphy, but you have a heavy a light heavyweight in there with Mike and they try to link that up to him being, you know, hurt. I don't know how that room meal got out there, but Because the dead opponent the dead opponent lapped the dead bring down. Like I said, you can call Andrew Murphy, you can call Jack Ryan Lewis, you can call a man that you can't understand maybe, but you can call all of them will tell you. Matter of fact, I got one dude that got footage of all three of them for him. You know what I'm saying? I got one dude that got footage of all three of them for him. And I can show you that Andrew Murphy was not hitting Mike at all, really. With Jeff with Jay, And I can show you that the car was, I, I, man, I don't even want to get into all of them. That's yeah. That's not like that. That's not like that. It's way worse than that. It's way worse than what I'm telling you. What he wants to do five times, it's way worse than that. But I don't want to go do that because I'm not trying to embarrass Mike Jones. That's 
for me. I don't try to quit air. It's way worse than the one thirty five pounds than I took. All right? Way worse. What do you have to say to the people who saying you sabotaged the fight with Adrian Broner because you was trying to pull him out initially and all of a sudden, you know, um, this shows up, you know, a week out from the fight and he gets pulled with a, with a, with a broken jaw. What do you have to say to those people? First of all, my dad told me the jaw was messed up. He didn't tell me his broken jaw. He said, if I had a bad tooth, because I had hit him in the back. Yeah. Then the next day, I said, he said, he got a broken jaw. But when he said, he took a dinner, he showed me, I got a picture right here, I can see this too. Where he showed me, he kid had a messed up tooth. So he had to get a heat on his own before he got to have surgery after he fight. But the boy tooth was messed up. And like I said, they didn't tell me nothing about the tooth until the day after the day the boy was leaving. I had said nothing about the tooth. I feel you. I feel you on that. I mean, I didn't know it was a um, 135 pounder, but he alluded to that. Um, Senior did allude to that to to me. He did say he was around 147 when he fought, but still he was around the same weight as 150. I told him I never put that jacket on you as if you was gonna sabotage anything. I never got that impression. I say all the times I've been around him, I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. But I never got that impression he'd go out there and sabotage a fighter, you know, purposely to this this extent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if I, was, I wouldn't do that, first of all, no more. If I, if I had any inclination to that, I'd have been Keon Peppy on. I'd have been Brian Thrill. They both would have canceled fight. And I didn't know that in my own mind. They both would have canceled fight. If I let them go all out with them. They both would have canceled fight. They took the confidence even if they wouldn't know it. And I didn't know that. That's why I didn't do it. Did he need the did he, did he need the spar spar Roy on that Tuesday? You just wanted to see. Okay. No, he needs spar because he needs to get the rounds in. How many fighters was going to a fight with no spar or not spar on and say he can go ten rounds? So he hardly had any sparring stepping up, step in your camp. He hardly had any sparring up to that point. Yeah, I had his hand spar because I can't let the phone guys like that. You hear me? Yeah. So I was gonna keep it off from so I tried to get the hand spar and get him right. So maybe he can avoid these 35 pounds. And what I was trying to do, I got ready to avoid the 35 pounds, I would keep a chance with him. But he couldn't, with the hand, I was trying to get him right. So I said, okay, I gotta get him 10 rounds for his fight. He can't probably go 10 rounds. Right? And in the 10 rounds, he can rock. I'll put Mandy Penn, who's the 135 pounds, you know, who only can go one hand with, because Mandy Penn got one hand. I'll put Murphy in, who's the 58, who just move around like Bona do, and you can jail like Bona do, who ain't hit him hard, who ain't trying to be hit him at all for real. You know what I'm and he, he could go out there for Andrew Murphy. It wasn't because Andrew Murphy ain't going to go out. Mike Mike was 147 pounds. You feel me? Look, Andrew was just showing me. Show me Andrew not going at Mike Mike. That's for what? And then he would go one round a day. And he kept repeating that three times. He did that three times, and the last time he went one more round a day. So the, and all in all, that, that, that first day he fought, that Monday, he went 10 rounds finally, but he only went four all out rounds. And that was the four round a day. I didn't like what I saw with that. None of it. So I told him, next day, you have to do this again, or I ain't gonna let you fight, because I don't like what I saw, right? I didn't like the reaction I saw, right? So, the next day, he said, I only can I go four or five, I mean, five or six, from my, I, I'm all right, my body, 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 I said, okay, we'll just do six. So in six, we go three with, uh, we didn't go three straight with one with, uh, Mandy, who, like I said, one-handed. So they were one-handed, they didn't go one with that. They were another man deep, they went another with that. They were another man deep, they went back in 
right here with the right hand at Mr. Keith. And that's what that was. So he went three all out rounds, four all out rounds for the first day, and three all out rounds for the second day. We had that for bringing that. We had that for this one. And at that point, he still had over 10 days before the first half. Thank you. 